Maybe you're confused. Bro. Don't even start with me. I will beat you with iron. Not if I beat you with it first. I mean, that is true. That is the win condition. <laughs> <laughs> going first. <laughs> Yep. Like your win condition is going first. I have bad news for you. <laughs> so, so good. Your win condition sucks. <laughs> no, it's the best. All right, guys. This is going to be my voice for today. I decided to stream for four hours last night with a sore throat. It was not a good idea. <clears throat> and, well, I mean, it was a great idea because you guys were all chilling with me and it was cool, but my throat is killing me. So this is how we're going to sound in today's uh, episode. But as I promised in the last episode, in our openings from now on, I'm going to be reading some of your comments. So let's go ahead and navigate to our uh, terrible place on the internet that is my channel. And let's go read some of these comments. So first we got my friend Keck. It says, getting on streams are impossible now. Well, I'm trying to re rectify that problem. Um, I'm trying to switch my stream times to be the evening instead of during the day. So... Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this week. Make sure you come back to this YouTube channel. That's where I'll be streaming um, on those evenings. So come back then. Next up, we got Kingcraft3202. The reason Useless was missing so often was because Dodrio used acupressure and sharply raised its evasion. Hope I could help. Well, you certainly did. I actually read this a while ago, and I was like, well, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense because I was thinking it was racing its accuracy, so I was totally confused. You also added you completely with you that you're completely fine with me evolving Wally into a guard of war because the downstone was just to give some options. So I do appreciate that you're giving me that freedom of choice with your Pokemon. So thank you so much, Kingcraft, for being a beast, and you as well, Keck. Next up, we got Flamex. Just says good. Look good. All right. Ooh, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Beast. I like Highlander here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock episode number 16. In the last episode, guys, we were halfway through the um, the Goldenrod Lighthouse, actually, and uh, we're just gonna try to make our way up there in today's episode. So please remember, if you are excited about this episode or this series as a whole, you know, you smash the like button down below to help show your support for this series and this channel as a whole. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick team recap. I have not done any grinding um, since we left off. But first up, we got Useless the Gyarados uh, with that shiny red body with Bounce, Dragon Rage, Surf, and Bite. Next up, we got Options the Eevee with Shadow Ball, Dig, Iron Tail, and Headbutt. We still got to decide what this Eevee is going to become, uh, which I'll probably have decided by in the next episode. So, huh, the anticipation, I can't wait. Next up, we got Wally the uh, Gardevoir now, not Curlia, with Icy Wind, Shockwave, Psychic, and Shadow Ball holding that lucky egg to get that increased EXP. Next up, I got OP the Ninetales, which, I, frankly, I'm not really sure how OP has lasted this long, um, with its stats and its moves being the way it is. But we got Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Extra Sensory, and Will-O-Wisp holding that quick claw so it can be fast. Next up, we got Shady the Nuzleaf with Razor Leaf, Giga Drain, Rollout, and Fiend Attack. <clears throat> So hopefully we can get ourselves that nice shiftery. It, it does need the leaf stone. So I think in uh, on level 25, I will evolve it into a shiftery. Um, and then next up, we got Ice Queen. But last but not least, uh, the the Weavile with Ice Punch, Shadow Claw, Ice Shard, and Fain Attack. I'm sorry if I sound really dull in today's episode. I, I'm trying to be as excited as I can with, with the, how my voice is. Oh my gosh, Lyra, what do you want? Hello, this is Lyra. How are you? You know, if you just go to the Lake of Rage, you can just see how energetic Magikarp can be. <clears throat> Lyra, that's because Team Rocket is performing sick experiments on these poor creatures, and you're condoning this. You sick monster. <laughs> Jasmine is the city's gym leader. I intend to bring her back with me. Nobody get better get in my way. <clears throat> Look, Jasmine is healing a sick Pokemon. And you're trying... To take her away from that so you can do a Pokemon battle. How selfish are you? How selfish are you? Alright? Can't believe this. Cannot believe this. <laughs> Alright, Azumarill. <laughs> um, I do think if we go for a bounce, it'll be pretty uh, pretty good move. Aquatic shouldn't do too much. <clears throat> if any, it did 3 damage. And Useless is going to spur ring up. So, um, I mentioned 
in the very beginning of the episode that I did go ahead and stream last night. Um, it was actually really fun. We did we did some sun and moon hunting, and uh, I'm glad that I was streaming again after not having streamed for a long time. So if you guys uh, did catch any of my streams while I was still on Twitch, I have moved from Twitch to YouTube, uh, probably temporarily, but from from, from the for, for the foreseeable future, that's where I'm going to be streaming at. Um, because I want to interact with the people who subscribe to my channel and uh, are interested in what I do on this YouTube channel. And I feel like that's the best way to do that. <clears throat> because not everyone has a Twitch and is a, like wants to go over and watch it on Twitch. So that, that's the reason for us switching over. But um, with our stream, like we we just kicking butt and taking names. We streamed from probably my time anyway. It was, oh my goodness, what just happened? If I didn't know that she turned into a Gyarados, she turned into a Gyarados. <laughs> if I didn't know that that was an item, we probably would not have picked that up. Um, but we we streamed from about 9:30 p.m. to about 1:30 in the morning. We just just shiny hunting. It was it was fun. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. We did uh, find ourselves a shiny Roselia, um, trying out the shiny swap method. Rare candy. So that's a free rare candy that we get to use on any Pokemon that we wish. Because um, that is one we picked up. So who should we use it on? I feel like we should use it on a Shady because that way we're closer to evolving it to a Shiftry. Um, wants to learn Low Kick. I think that might actually be a good move to teach Shady. Shady wants to learn Roll Kick. Oh, uh, low, Roll Kick. Low Kick. I think it's better than Roll Out. I think Roll Out sucks. Um... <clears throat> Besides the fact that Miltank is the only Pokemon that it can be used viably on. So. Um. Yeah, so just remember guys, we do do some streams. And I, w I want you guys to come out to the streams. Because it's a lot of fun. And that is just being difficult. So, I don't know. Oh, that's a trainer. Invisible, but it is a trainer. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. That's really sad. That's really sad. I'm going to lower my, my chair just a bit. Sailor Kent, what you got for us? Watch out all. <clears throat> all right, useless. Hit it with that bounce. We grab the Intimidate, snap the Intimidate off of the War Turtle. It is time to du -du 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 duel. Everyone going for that Aqua Jet. What do they think I am? Do they think I'm not a Gyarados? Because I am a Gyarados. I'm a 100% bonafide Gyarados. Useless is not so useless anymore. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. War Turtle's going to go for that Protect, trying to stall out this battle. And I'm like, mm, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just be gone. Be gone with you. We're going to get 888 experience. Going to hit level 30. Very, very nice. Um, and Pelipper wants to come. Pelipper! Um, Wally needs to come out because we need to check out that sick Gardevoir in battle. Let's go. Um, Gardevoir does have that shockwave, so it's going to take care of that Pelipper. Easy peasy. A lemon squeeze. Has a keen eye. Well, I mean, your keen eye is not going to help you with this lightning. That's for sure. That's 100% for sure. And we take it down in one hit. I am like sipping the crap out of this tea to try to help me with my throat. <clears throat> I should have made some more. We we'll only gained 1,500 experience points. I think we need to switch who the lucky egg is on. I couldn't manage a smile either. Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. Sailor Kent, you need to smile. I need you to smile for me right now. Oh. All right. We need to go ahead and think of a question of the day. So I'm going to keep that in mind as we're going through this. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? That's right. I am switching the Lucky Egg. Um, no, I did not want to give it a Rare Candy. Take the Lucky Egg. And let's give it to Shady. Shady needs some loving with that Lucky Egg. Um, so he can gain some nice experience points. I wonder... Maybe we should turn our Eevee into a Leafeon. That might be our best choice. Hmm. I'd have to figure out where to get that uh, the item for the Leaf Stone, though. Because it's not a Leaf Stone. It's, a, it's like a Leaf... Mossy Rock is like an item, I think, that you use on Eevee in this game. So I have to find one of those. I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to look into it after this episode. We're gonna snag the Intimidate on the Swablu. Swablu is not part Fairy type in this gen, so I'm not too worried about anything this thing can dish out. I'm gonna hit it with the Surf, because it's not part Dragon yet, I don't think, either. So it's gonna be regularly effective. It's gonna hit me with a takedown, trying to take me out. What do you, what do you think you are, Swablu? To a giant serpent beast that comes out of the ocean, full of rage, because everyone hates Magikarp. <clears throat> what do you think you are, Swablu? Nothing. You're, you're absolute booty. <clears throat> my, my throat. My throat's giving out on me. Don't do it, man. I need you. Um, I'm going to send an Ice Queen. Uh, Ice Queen has not gone to see battle for a while. <clears throat> well, and the reason for that is because Ice Queen is a freaking beast and, uh, you know, already kills everything in one hit. So, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is going to be a rough episode, episode that's for sure. I'm... I'm <laughs> I, I'm trying to be exciting, but my throat won't let me, and I'm so sorry. You guys are like, this sucks. This is no fun watching watching Will speak in a monotone vo voice, trying to kill some Pokemons. It's just no fun. I understand. If you want to unsubscribe, I understand. <laughs> oh, yes. we uh, Ice Queen takes down the Fero with the Ice Punch, so that's good. 10, or not 10,000, 1,050 experience. We're going to level 33. That's what I'm talking about. Getting some mad experience. Oops, they crashed. Because our next gym... <clears throat> our ne <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Our next gym is the fighting type gym. So we need to have Wally be ready for that. Um, but our lowest viable Pokemon is Gyarados. So I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep chilling out with Gyarados. <clears throat> In the front. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? I'd like to consider myself kind. I don't know about strong. I'm probably really weak, actually. Like, weak, we, the weakest of sauce. Politoed comes out. Um, unfortunately for us, our Shiftry is not level 30. That would have been fantastic switching. Um, unless it's taking a Zap Zipper, which I think it might actually get. I might be wrong, though. I might be completely 100% wrong about that. Because um, then it gets Rain Dance and something else. It's got to go for the Hypnosis, trying to put me to sleep, and it succeeds in doing so. So that's a struggle. Um, I don't want this thing doing any sleep, like, Dream Eater shenanigans. So I'm going to heal immediately with an Awakening. <clears throat> so the Awakening pops off. What are we going to do next against this Politoed? Perish Taunt, you're kidding me. <laughs> if you think I'm staying in with this Perish Taunt, use a fool. He's an absolute fool. Um... Did I just kill myself? I think I actually just killed myself. No, no, okay. So if we switch out on the last turn, we miss. Of course we miss. Here comes the swagger. Um, so we'll just have to switch out his last turn and we get experience. So that's cool. Um What does it have? Parish song, hypnosis, and swagger. Right? Let's send in Shady. Shady can get this experience. Please? Hypnosis. There you go. Bop! Get! Get! Outplayed. <laughs> it was such a sweet play that all I did was switch out my Mon. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. You're both kind and strong. Well, thank you. Thank you, Sailor. I forgot your, your name, but I do appreciate it. Um, do we need to heal up our useless? want to make sure that we do not KO any more Pokemon unnecessarily. Since that has happened way too much in this Let's Play. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So how about you? I'm down. I'm always down a clown. Um, <clears throat> all my tea is gone. It's actually really sad. Alright. I came up with a question of the day. It doesn't really have a, like anything to do with me as like real life. Uh, but... Or, like, pertain to anything that's happening to me right as of right now. But the question of the day is, what trainer class are you? Are you an ace trainer? Are you a sailor? Are you a fairy child from 6th gen? Whatever those those kids are called. Are you a preschooler? Are you a youngster? Youngster Joey. Oh, no, it's Minisina. 
We do not want to stay in was useless against the Minicina. Because the Minicina probably has Thunder Punch. Sailor Roberto. Get out of here. Has guts, actually. Ooh. Well, we're going to end it with a Psychic. Hopefully that's enough to KO with a modest Wally. Please. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> but I'm just curious to know what training class you always pick. I always pick the Ace Trainer. I, I was the boring kid who did that. I was like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good at this game. Which, uh, by <clears throat> the over-glaring evidence of this Let's Play, is clearly not true. But I was like, I'm, I'm so good at this game. I'm an ace trainer. So, that, that's who I was. But let's go ahead and talk to Jasmine and see what's up with Ampharos. <clears throat> this, might, this Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I don't... I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood, but that's across the sea here. I can't leave Amphion attended. Are you, like, low-key asking me to go get it for you? Is that what you're doing? I think that's what she's doing. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? See, there was there was the actual question. Pop Palu. So, um, good to know that Ghost Rev, um, having retired from our Leaf Green Nuzlocke, is now here trying to light up the, uh, the tower. And the least I could do, though, is... Go ahead and get some medicine for Ghost Rev to be able to keep lighting up the tower in the lighthouse. It is time, guys. It's time to rectify our wrongs against Ghost Rev. It is time. We're heading out, my boys. What we do need to do, though, is heal up Useless because we are solo on the PP. It's not even funny. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. And what this also allows us to do is because now we have to head across the ocean. Um, that's a really great time to start training up Shady. Um, we can get a new encounter. Because we are heading to Route 40, which we have not been on. Hey, great waves here. No one can resist such good waves. Well, what do you mean by resist? Monica. Glad to meet you. I'm Monica of Monday. As a token of our friendship, I have a gift for you. I sound like freaking Munching Orange right now. Hey, guys, it's Munching Orange. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mo, if you ever watch this for some reason, I'm so sorry. That was a terrible impression of you. But I feel like I sound like you when I have a sore throat. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> who are you? They say schools of Fion sometimes cross the warm sea here. You might encounter one if you're really lucky. I'd like to see one. That Pokemon you have behind you. Uh, it's not a Fion. So if we ever find a Fion, we can definitely come back and check it out uh, with her. This is the entrance to the battle frontier. You shouldn't make you shouldn't make a line here, though. What? I'm the first to arrive. There will be a there will soon be a battle frontier past here. I'm I, I'm in line to be first one there. I haven't slept for days. Get in line if you want to be the second one in. Um, I can't get over that. I actually sound like Munching Orange right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mel. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch in Shady. Shady is going to lead my party right now. I know this is a bad idea. Well, actually, yeah, this was a terrible idea because we're going to get an encounter first. So let's put uh, Useless back up front. And uh, let's let's surf around to figure out what level... Oh, no, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. All right. What level our egg is going to be that we're going to hatch? Level 28. Woohoo. Oh, man, that's actually really good. I need to find my die. Um, since I've reorganized my room... Oh, there it is. We're saved. Hold on. Uh, I shouldn't keep it in this cup because it is definitely too small for my hand. Let's put it in there in my new, newly built drawer. Um, and put my cup of things back on the shelf. Let's go ahead and catch this thing. Um, I am going to predict that this thing has more than 40 HP. I'm going to pray that it does. Please. I, I want to hatch an egg. Yes. Okay. There we go. It's going to set up the Toxic Spikes, the Tentacool, thinking that we're going to stay in or switch out. Um, which is just not going to happen. So we're going to catch the Tentacool. Level 28 is going to be the level we get to hatch. I think we're in Box 2, if I do remember correctly. Um, so let's go ahead and get out my, my die, which is right here. And I'm ready. I am ready to hatch some eggs. I don't know about you guys. I love hatching eggs. I think it's a lot of fun. Remember, I have said this uh, previously, and I'm going to do just do a quick reminder again. 
um, because we haven't done one in a long time. But remember, you can still send in eggs. If you guys want to send in eggs for the egg lock, make sure you follow the link down in the description below. Because anyone can be, part, can be part of the egg lock. All you need is a computer. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, so we're in box 2. So let's go ahead and roll the die. So we're going to be in row 5. Very bottom. Egg number 5, which we've already done. Another egg 2. So it's going to be Japanese name, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to bag this lucky egg, though. So thank you so much for that. Um... Unfortunately, it is a Japanese name, which means I'm going to have to nickname it myself, um, which really blows. I'm so sorry um, that that's the way it turned out. Um, you, uh, the, the, the reason that happens, I think, is that you don't check the nickname box next to the nickname when you're nicknaming your Pokemon um, in Pokegen. So it makes it so it doesn't, the nickname doesn't work properly. So... At least that's my theory. I that's just a game theory. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, you know there aren't too many Japanese names in the boxes because I love I love using your guys' nicknames no matter how stupid they may be, like your mom. Um, all right, we need to hash this thing. Um, but yeah, so remember to check the nickname box. I think that's the problem. But our next Pokemon is going to be level 28, but it's going to also be an Inkata. Interesting. Want to give a nickname to the Hash Ninkata? Of course I do. Um, what do we name this thing? Well, because I can't think of anything better at the moment as top of my head. Um, because I did have a Japanese name, we're gonna go ahead and name it Tokyo. <laughs> hey, Tokyo, Tokyo the Ninkata. It's gonna. Hit. We're actually gonna get. We can get a Shedinja because we're leveling this thing up to level twenty-eight, which means it'll evolve. Should I do that? Is that fair? No, that's not fair. Well, let's not do that. Um, since you do need a, you need an open space in your um, in, or your party to get a Shedinja. Because when Tokyo evolves, it leaves behind its shell, and that's what becomes Shedinja. So, learn Sand Attack. I don't think this thing has any moves. It might have moves, but I don't think it does. Oh yeah, it does. It totally does. Doesn't want to learn Furry Swipes. Um, level 17, level 18, level 19. No mind reader for you. Level 20. It's going to evolve into a ninjask. We don't want to learn double team. Maybe fury cutter. Let's teach a fury cutter. Get rid of sand attack. I don't know. Also learn screech. No, thank you. Uh, and then level 28. That's quite the level for Tokyo. Sword stance. Ooh, I might actually learn that. Let's get rid of Leech Life. I feel like Leech Life uh, will definitely not be beneficial for us. Level 27 and level 28. So that uh, is Tokyo. Tokyo leveled up to level 28. Um, I don't think we're going to use Tokyo, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to stick it back into the PC. But thank you so much for whoever sent Tokyo in. I really do appreciate it. Um, it is It's modest. Of course it is. Um, with speed boost. But uh, you're awesome, and I, I'm very grateful that you want, you decided to contribute to the egg lock. So um, now with that egg hatched and out of the way, let's go ahead and head south um, into the ocean. To the ocean. I've been to the ocean several uh, on several occasions, and I know that people are like, "Oh, I want to go see the ocean." I mean, yeah, it's cool because it's the ocean, but I mean, there's nothing else really to see there besides if you're swimming. You have to warm up before going into the water. That's basic. Did you just call me basic? Did you just call me basic, my good sir? Because I think you did. He's gonna send out a star you. Um, I'm afraid I don't want to send or or uh, I don't want to start or uh, st stay in with shady goodness. Um, because this thing might have ice beam and uh, I I just don't want to deal with that. So I'm searching to Wally. Go for that shock wave. Try to one hit KO this star you, which I don't think is going to be an issue. Definitely think we will uh, take care of that just fine. I'm going to move my uh, classic copies of the games off of my desk because I left them there last night after the stream. What have I been doing? Eden, Eden needs to be giving me guidance, and he has not been doing so. 
Can you guys see Eden right there? Yes, you can. All right. Eden, you're going to chill there, and you're going to give me guidance on how to win this game. Tentacool. I think I'm going to stay in. Um, don't want to risk getting hit by a poison-type move by uh, on Shady. Um, this way, I can just hit it with a Psychic, and it will be a one-hit KO. Hmm. <laughs> What do you think, Eden? Should I keep using Shady? Because I think I should keep using Shady. Eden agrees. Eden's like, you, sh you should keep using Shady. And I'm like, all right. The, the deal's a done deal. It's a done deal. All right. <laughs> Quillfish wants to come out. Uh, level 28. Let's go for another Shockwave with Wally. Uh, wait, Quillfish might actually be part poison. So Psychic might have been a better choice. Though, I guess we'll never know if this kills. <clears throat> It's a crit, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, man. Swimmer Simon was defeated. Let's go. Alright, who else can we take on in this vast, vast ocean? I mean, I'm going to try to explore... Are you going to sign? What about a quick battle first? I'm going to try to explore everything in the ocean. Um, For the main fact that... I want to gain all the experience that we can get from all the trainers here. Um, and I will definitely miss out on that experience if we just decide to steamroll through the entire route. So I'm going to try to fight everyone that we can fight here. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the goal. <laughs> uh, though we are approach, we're rapidly approaching the end of uh, this episode. So I'm hoping that we can take on probably the rest of this route and then kind of explore Signwood and get the medicine. Um, in the next episode, I don't know if we'll have much more time than that. Um, I definitely, I don't think we'll have time to take on the gym in the next episode. So I think that will be in episode 18, uh, will be when we take on the gym. So make sure you guys stick around for that, of course. You guys don't want to miss me taking on, uh, what's his face? Oh my gosh, it starts with an M. His name starts with an M, the gym leader in Sinewood. It's Macho Man, uh, uh, Randy Savage, that's who it is. <laughs> Why can't I not remember? Oh my goodness. Bubble Beam does a little bit of damage uh, to Wally. <clears throat> a little bit more than I would like. Uh, Shockwave should uh, finish it off though. I think she has one more Pokemon. If I remember. I might be remembering incorrectly. I don't think I am though. Wally's going to level 32. Very, very nice. Octillery. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna send him useless just to be safe. Uh, I don't know what Octillery could have besides Octazuka, which I think is a rock type move actually. So I might have actually made a mistake switching in useless. I'm not so sure. I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Rage. Uh, we are gonna get the Intimidate off though, which is really nice. It's so nice having a Pokemon with Intimidate. It's beautiful actually. Do at least half, please. Alright, it didn't do half. It looks like it did, but it didn't. Unless we got like a really low roll. Well, okay, never mind. What am I talking about? Really low roll on a Dragon Rage. Yeah, that's what that's what happened. Uh, Will, you're a genius. You're freaking good at this game. 100%. Yeah, this is going to live with like one HP. Octosuka, there it is. Okay, so that looks like it's actually water type move. My accuracy fell. Oh, don't do that. Alright, there we go. Artillery goes down. It's another crit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Do 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 do. Oh, my voice totally sound like Mo. <laughs> All right, so we're actually pretty deep into today's episode, so I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here, so we can leave off here and pick up where we left off in the next episode. So let me go ahead and switch back to our little endgame little screen. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of our Pokemon Second Gold Egglock. If you did enjoy, please remember to uh, to please. Um, Leave a like down below to help support uh, the channel and the series as a whole. As well as leave a comment below, either answering the question of the day or another comment, because I do read off the comments in the beginning of each video from now on. So make sure you do that as well. But um, also, if you're just kind of lurking around or you, you find yourself kind of intrigued by what we're doing here, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button if you would like. You can take them to my channel where you can watch the other 15 episodes of our Sacred Gold Egglock. So if that's something that interests you, feel free to go ahead and do that. But that's going to be it, guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. I love you guys so much, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.